April, my friends. This is, of course, my April update of my Rolling 10 Project Pan series that I have ongoing. Um, yeah, I love April. It is a super, super busy month for me, but it is a really exciting one always. It's my birthday month. I just love April so much. So yeah, let's just get into my products from March, what I finished, what I'm rolling in, things like that. My hair is finally long enough to wear in a little ponytail and I am like so excited about it. I love having short hair and I've had short hair obviously for the past year and I do really enjoy it but I just missed being able to throw my hair up in a ponytail so I am so happy that it's finally long enough to do that. All right of course starting out with the tried and true my Tati LOC shadow stick and this is what it's looking like. Look at how small. <laughs> Look at how small it is. I think that's to the O of the L-O-C, or maybe that's the C and the L is completely gone. Either way, it's teeny tiny. I used it 29 times in March, and yeah, it's definitely getting closer. Um, it's really, really small. I definitely am going to finish it this year. I don't know when, but it will happen. All right, next up is my Charlotte Tilbury Pinkasm Blush, and I know that I talked really big game um, end of February. I was like, in March, I'm definitely going to use this up. It's so close to being done, but it's not done yet, okay? I was so sure at some point that it would completely run out because I feel like it's so close to being empty. Like, it is so close to being empty. I feel like it's like, it's like the last dregs, okay? I don't know why, but it's like never ending, of course, for me. That is just my luck with products, to be quite honest. But as it was getting closer and closer to the end of March, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to finish it, am I? I'm not going to finish it after I said that I definitely 100% would. But yeah, I did not finish this. I used it 29 times in March. I used it every single day that I wore makeup. And I'm wearing it today. I would like to say that it was... It will for sure be used up in April, but at this point, I'm just like not confident. I feel like there's nothing left in it, but I feel like there was nothing left in it for all of March. So I don't know when it will be completely used up, but I will say that this is a really good product if you want to get your money's worth because there's a lot of it and it lasts a really long time and you only need a little bit of it to really make an impact. I will say it is finally getting to the time where I am um, sick of it. I don't want to wear it anymore. I want to wear any other blush. And I have been layering other blushes over top of it, but I just like want it used up. I want it, I want it gone. So yeah, um, hopefully in April. Next up is my Soft Lips Sugar Plum Lip Balm. I also used this 29 times in March. Um, it's definitely, I got a lot of it used up in March. Like the weight difference is really good. I'm happy with that. However, I will say, I don't think it's close to being used up at all. I definitely think this will be in for at least half the year. So yeah, not looking at this being used up anytime soon, but it's a good lip balm. I like it. I use it at least once a day when I'm doing my makeup. So yeah, I will also say that I tend to use lip balms a lot more in the spring. I know that's kind of counterintuitive, but I wear a lot of fun, bright lip colors in the spring. So I want my lips to be very moisturized. Also, if you're wondering, the lip color I'm wearing, I'm wearing one of the new Milani color fetishes in pink about it. And I will actually have a little video about these lip stains and the CoverGirl lip stains um, coming soon. So be on the lookout for that. All right, next up is my Fenty Glow Enhancer Primer. And I have it set like this so I can get the last bits of it. Well, what I thought was going to be the last bits of it because I also thought I was going to have this used up in March. I was just very far off. Um, I have a good amount of it left. I feel like it was deceiving because I was like, oh, I only have this much left and I used up all of this, but it's wider down here. So there's just like more product down here. It's like wider both ways, this way and this way. Um, so obviously I only have this much left. So I'm hoping that I can get this used up in April. I did use this 29 times in March as well. And it's been a good like base product. I do really like it. There was no reason for me really to like use it up um, besides the fact that I just, I like it. It's a good primer, um, and I'm enjoying it. I definitely do want to get it used up before it's summer because I think it'll be too pink and too light for when I'm tan, but right now it still totally works and I'm really enjoying it. All right, next up is my Kose lip liner and this is what it's looking like. Okay, pretty good. One of my sub goals for this is actually to sharpen it down to the Kose this year, if not use it up, obviously, but I used it 28 times in March. So almost every single day, every single day, but one. So I'm really happy with that. I feel like it's become a staple product in my everyday makeup routine. And I don't know if I'm going to use it the same amount coming up into the spring when I'm wearing more like bright 
light lip colors. I will say I've worn this under really bright colors and it hasn't been like an issue or anything. Um, I am wearing it today and you can't really tell. So it matches my lip line almost perfectly. It's just a little bit darker. So in general, I, I don't know if it'll be an issue, but we'll see. All right, next up is my Cody Airspun Powder and I used this 29 times in March as well. I feel like yeah, I'm getting good use on this. It's just not gonna look any different. Um, I'm definitely using a good amount of it. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell a difference at all. I don't know, I feel like that has more space than it did before. The weights are different, that's all I really care about. Um, I said at the beginning when I rolled this in that it's probably gonna be in for multiple years if I'm trying to use it up. So I kind of signed up for that, I buckled in for it. So I'm really happy with any usage I get on this. Um, and it's a really good powder, I like it. I definitely think it's a very like it'll be better for the summer I think it doesn't have a lot of glow it's like very matte but it's a good I use glowy like primers and highlighters and blushes and everything so I'm not I'm not super worried about like glow or anything and I really only mainly use it under my eyes and a little bit like in my t-zone so yeah other than that I I'm really enjoying this it's a really good solid very inexpensive powder Okay, next up are my Mud Masky Blush Drops, and I actually used these 29 times in March as well. I've gotten really used to them. Um, I'm wearing them today. I think they do just, like, add the cutest little glow. Um, I kind of figured out how I like using them best. They're, like, the last step that I do. I tap a little bit between my fingers, and then I pat it on the high points of my cheeks. I don't try to, like, rub it in or anything. And yeah, I've been really enjoying this. I definitely think one of the benefits is that I've been wearing a lot of pink, and it, it does go obviously really well with pink and it also goes really well with the Charlotte Tilbury blush so I don't know if I'll run into any issues when I use up that Charlotte Tilbury blush but until then I'm not too worried about it and I'm gonna keep using it I do think I'll have this in for a while considering that I feel like it is no flatter than it was at the beginning um, I only need like a tiny dot every single day so that definitely does you know, add an extra dimension to using this. It's gonna take a lot longer to use it up because I just, I'm not gonna be using it all over my face or anything like that. But in general, enjoying it more than I thought I would. All right, next up is my The Balm Bronzer. And I also used this 29 times in March. I don't know if you can tell, but it's got a pretty big dip. I don't think you're gonna be able to see it, but I think I might hit pan in a month or two, which is really exciting because that is one of my like sub goals as well um, for this. I obviously do want to get it used up, but in general, I've been enjoying it. It's a great formula. I do think I'll like it better in the summer. I think it is just like a little too dark. I don't know. I don't feel like I noticed it that much in January, February, but I feel like lately I've really noticed it. I don't know why per se, um, but in general, it's a great formula and it's really easy to travel with, to use. Um, silky smooth, really easy to blend. I really like balm cheek products. I think they're wonderful, lovely, and they last a really long time. And they stay good for a really long time too. So if I wasn't trying to use this up, it would stay in my collection and stay well for years, literally. So yeah, um, I do think that I will love this in the summer and I obviously will use it more in the summer, but for now I'm very happy with the amount that I've used it. All right, next up is another product that won't die. This is my Bare Minerals Moxie Gloss. I don't know if you can tell, but it has literally like this much left. I was so certain, so, so certain that I could get this used up in March. And I used it 22 times, which is more than I used it before. Um, I, I definitely think I'm going to have this used up in April. I feel like I have so little bit of it left. The issue is I don't need that much gloss. Um, and the other problem is, is that I don't want to wear it anymore. It is very much so for me a winter shade. And because it's getting warmer and it's more springy, like springtime, obviously, I want to wear not winter shades, not like browns. I do love this gloss. It is the most beautiful gloss formula. I will rant and rave about these forever and ever, but I just don't really want to be wearing like a more moody brown. I mean, it's still neutral enough that I can wear it every day. I just, I don't want to anymore. I want this used up. I want it out of my collection. I definitely thought I'd be able to have it used up in March. It's so close. And I, I am actually going to say that it definitely will be used up in April just because I cannot imagine wanting to wear it past then at all anyway. Um, I started reapplying it when I wear it. I feel like there's so little, little of it left. Like it's literally just this corner. If this isn't used up at the beginning of April, I will riot, I swear. Um, I, as much as I love this gloss, I'm just, 
I want to wear other things. That's what happens. So this one, um, so close and wait until next month because it will be used up. <laughs> A lot of a lot of disappointing updates in this update. I'm so sorry. Um, but finally, my last product for my 10 from March is my NYX oil primer. And this is actually the only product that I used up in March and I rolled it in for March. So that's crazy to me. Um, but I am glad to just have at least one product used up. Um, for March, you know, because this will continue my streak of having only one product used up in January, February, and March. Obviously, my overall goal is to use up 24 products in 2024, and so I would need to get two products used up every month, so I'm now behind three products, but I feel as though I have a lot of products that are soon to be used up, so I feel like it'll just be one of those things where I'll get rid of a lot of things in one month, you know? Um, it'll hit all at once, which is what I am hoping for. Maybe it'll be April. A good month so you know we'll see um but i did use this 22 times as well i actually thought that i would get less usage because i feel like it was close um so i got more usage out of this than i thought i was going to and honestly uh i love this primer i raved about it when i rolled it in but if if it wasn't for using it up and trying to get it used up i think that i would still be using it it is like dry enough out and i work in an office and my skin is very dry um, I wanted to get this used up before summer, but I do think that next winter I will repurchase this or another primer oil because I don't know how to really function um, with my dry skin without it. My skin loves this stuff and yeah, I just like, it craves it, I swear. And even like my skin feels dry even today because I obviously didn't use it today. I do have other primers that I can use and things like that. And I won't use this as it gets like more warm or more humid, but I do think once it is dry and cold again in the fall and winter, I will be repurchasing this. Okay, so those are all my products. I obviously only used up one product in March, so I only have one product to roll in. And that is actually a brow gel. So very similar to last year, I have another Benefit 24-hour brow setter brow gel, and I'm going to be rolling this in. I feel like it's pretty close. Like, I I've been using it as my everyday brow gel, and I just want to get through more of my brow products um I feel like this isn't my favorite it's not bad I just want to try other things I have a couple like brow waxes I have another mini like brow gel and if you saw my empties for the end of March I did use up another brow gel in March actually that was not rolled in or anything like that so I've been pretty good about using up my brow products and I want to continue that trend so yeah Hopefully this will be another product that I have used up in April. Um, we shall see. Hopefully it's not the only product I have used up in April. Hopefully there are some other things. We can get some more fresh products in here. But this is a really good brow gel um, for what it is. And yeah, I like it. It, it works for me. And I'm going to enjoy using it up. Okay, with that, that is my end of March, beginning of April update. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, please like it. And if you like me, please subscribe, join me for this. Um, I'm gonna have some fun videos coming up for April, um, including some birthday videos maybe, because it will be my birthday coming up soon. My birthday's the beginning of April. So, and Tuesdays, my dog. My dog and I share a birthday. That's a little fun fact for you. One of my favorite fun facts. Um, because I think it's adorable. We are the cutest little pair. But yeah, I hope you're having a great day, week, month, year. I hope you have a wonderful April, um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, friend.